On this, the 19th episode of NSFW, we try to vanquish Hitler's immortal spirit in a dice game with Andrew Main of andrewmain.com and the weirdthings.com podcast. Also, this might be the last time we talk to you once you listen to the phone calls we got from our producer, Danger Dane Golden. Listen to it. It's up next here on NSFW. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 19 for April 7th, 2010. WeirdThings.com. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. There we go. Just like that is go time for the new show full of win. NSFW, the new sauce for the Webernets. Oh, and you know what? Our One of our favorite listeners, Car Hacks, actually made a slide for, uh, what was it, uh, narcoleptic seeking something whiskey. I'll, I'll play it next time. My name is Brian Brush, and I'm your host. I am joined, as always, by the inimitable Mr. Justin Robert Youngsicles the first. How you doing, JRY? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. And by the way, Tony, who's editing this podcast, when Brian says let's start it without the video, he means leave his girl in after the video. No, no. What I mean is clearly yeah. we don't, Even we in, do not include in the middle, so it, it shows screw him up. during That's the, the podcast, whole reason. him screwing up. That's yeah. the whole reason that post exists is to salvage my disasters is how it goes. How you doing, Justin, man? Nay, nay, nay. Uh, no, I'm doing fantastic, Bri. How are you? Uh, Bri, Bri. Bri. There it is. The Bri again. That's the one that just, or that that Justin's what? What is your relationship to Justin, Andrew? What do you What do you like to call yourself relative to him? Uh, you mean like is he my youthful ward or something? Yeah. <laughs> Friend of friends. That'll do. Whichever one, I'll take that. The youthful <laughs> ward. Ward. <laughs> By the way, for those of you wondering, that is uh, Mr. Andrew Main, the editor in chief over at itricks.com, the number one magic news site in the universe, and also weird things. Dot com and our co-host on the Weird Things podcast. How do we end up here, Justin? Who let the who let this rat scallion in here? Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's it just one of those things where it, it seems like I me. Mean, Andrew is such a natural fit to come on the show forever. It's it just seems like there was other when, when other people would come on, like Mark Maron would come on. We started to think like, oh my god, what are we gonna do with Mark Maron? But it's like Andrew can come on and we can just do nothing. So it just seemed like. I don't know. For some reason, he just didn't it's, come it seemed like we were having a lazy on. day, is what it was. You'd <laughs> be like, "Hold oh, on, guys, well, I'm just... doing another show right now over here." Yeah, you're doing what on the on I'm the other show? Shows right now. You're, oh, you're actually podcasting what other show while are you're you podcasting. Doing? Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, it's this thing called. Uh, FSW something, I don't know, whatever. I keep asking him to be on it. Oh, we're good, good. I'm glad we were able to make that happen. All right, look. Uh, uh, I, just small correction. You called me the editor-in-chief of iTrix and Weird Things. Aren't you in That's charge? the guy that actually does the work. Oh. Um, that would be Justin, who's the editor-in-chief. So you are what? Just the, the <laughs> yeah. oh, no. you're the guy the that publisher, wears. Publisher, the creator. The, the guy that. Publisher. Uh, Oh, publish Which means so much in an internet age. That wears wears a stovepipe <laughs> hat, hat and he has a pipe and he commands underlings around. Oh yeah, the ascots in the other room. <laughs> hey, uh, before we get started, Justin, uh, were you a little bit weirded out by the phone call from Dane earlier? I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we had a phone call with Dane and I mean, obviously, he's got his own way of dealing with business, but I don't know why it should be a surprise at this point. Well, it was a little bit funny to me because, like, Dane has, and, and I think, generally speaking, deservedly so, a very positive reputation as being a real uh, go-to guy. But he called us, I guess, you know, this would be the, if we were in the building, he would have called us into the office for this meeting uh, where he had some issues with the show that he wanted to, to work out? I mean, again, listen, like, he's a producer. He produces a bunch of shows. I don't know how they do things at, at Twit for everybody else. I don't know how this kind of stuff happens for Mac Break and Dr. Kiki and everyone else over there. But, 
you know, this is how he deals with us. So I, I don't know. I mean, it, it'd be hard for me to say I'm surprised. Well, the nice this thing is how is, Danger Dane Golden takes care of business. <laughs> Danger Dane Golden. By the way, if we were actually in the office, it might have been awkward to hit record. But the nice thing with Skype is that it's relatively easy to capture moments like this. There are ways of doing it. Do you run anything by me? No. You just We just turn on the, the cameras every week, and I don't know what the f we're going to get. You guys don't send me show notes. Did you give out your phone number now and have people call Dane? Let Dane say and forward. I got more important things to do than deal with your day to day. I got twenty shows to run. Is that like I was kind of surprised that that's? I mean, that's that's apparently like. I mean, you don't want to mess with Dane, I guess. But like, like I, again, I don't know what you expected. I mean, how many times has this happened? I don't know. At what point you're like, oh, it's really odd. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm like the wife who'd be like, you know, she he loves me. <laughs> I just fell down. I, I shouldn't make Dane so angry. Well, you're always I don't know. I'm the one who always gets heated with him, and you're like, oh, I don't want whatever, Mister Mister Golden. Don't worry, we'll do it better next time. And apparently, thirty yeah, pieces of yeah, pieces of paper that you want us to send you. Yeah, I, I, what what what's that, Andrew? You guys really, you know, it's, the fault is on you guys because, you know, I can imagine trying to produce a show like this would be a nightmare. And you should kind of warn people, you know, you should give it some sort of name or something to imply that, you know. Maybe oh, that it would be not safe for work. See, we should. We should convey yeah. that in the name of the show. It should be, it should be NSFW dash NSFW. Yeah, NSFW. NSFW. Parentheses warning. NSFW. Look, paper. Who's talking about paper? You can do this all day. Justin. Justin. Releases tonight. Well, that's that's another thing. I mean, you guys keep having these contests. None of these are being approved by a lawyer. Is there a twit lawyer or or? No, we have to run this by an external lawyer. This is expensive. And you guys are putting every us at single risk. contest. Yes, that's what but they do on radio shows. They're they're not even for real. Pri we don't have any prizes. We just play a goofy game, and and then. Do uh, I hear disclaimers? I don't hear disclaimers. Oh, okay. So we need to add dis disclaimers. They need to be approved by f lawyers. A stupid this is a game real business, Justin. Internet. I don't. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, he's a little bit out of shape. Whatever, whatever. Let's just let's just come on. Let's just get the show rolling. The show that we didn't send in show notes for. Oops. That's right. <laughs> Dude, you heard he didn't like that. All right, look, we're gonna play a game called what was it? Guess the hate. Is that what you called it? It's Guess the Hate, Brian, America's favorite nighttime internet fun show. And how would you explain Guess the Hate to somebody who doesn't even know what possibly could be hateful on the internet? Who somebody assumes that the internet is a magical land filled with flowers and roses and everybody best day ever. Uh, well, number one, if you're that person, kill yourself because you live in a fantasy land that will never materialize in reality. But what I would say, what I would say to that person, as brief as they are continuing to allow themselves to be on this planet, Guess the Hate is a fun, hilarious game where we go through the iTunes pages of your favorite podcast, literally the most popular on the internet, and we find the most critical comments. Those who, despite the fact that these are shows that have lasted years and cater, if nothing, than to their whims and enjoyment, they hate them all the same and say horrible, horrible things about them. What we're going to do is read those comments, and we're going to see if by multiple choice, our contestants can guess which show these ingrate vultures are carping about. Now, now you you say our 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 contestants, which is like I I mean I can't be a contestant because I help pick them and and you you're also on the inside, so it wouldn't be fair. And especially now no. that you know we Dane made it clear we got to have releases for everything and and everything you know above board. I mean we only have I mean we got Andrew Andrew will be, will be a guest. All right, so he's a, yeah. he's one contestant, but we need another contestant, right? I mean, we need somebody, right? You know, or, well, here's or what something. I, was thinking. I don't know. Here's what I was thinking. Okay. Andrew, you are the, uh, the not the editor-in-chief, the, the the producer. What, what did we decide you were? Of weird uh, publisher. Things? Publisher. Publisher. publisher right. of weirdthings.com. Well, thank you, thank you for reading the show notes. It's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's just rolling off. It's like water off a duck's back, dude. It's like words, words, whatever you're, I'm just busy running the board here. So <laughs> you're the publisher of weirdthings.com. And we thought, I don't know if you know this, but, you know, Hitler was into the occult. He was into some weird stuff. Do you know that? Oh yeah, he told me last week. That's what. Well, that's just it. it was. 
He was like, you know, starts pulling out his Necronomicon and he had a really dog-eared copy of Twilight. I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> I didn't know if, if this was true or not, but somebody told us at a garage sale, somebody sold to me what he claimed <laughs> were Hitler's dice. Lucky dice. Luck wow. Haunted dice. They, they Ma- allegedly were Hitler's Ma- dice. Made from the bones of gypsies. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 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 That's uh, I like the way you're like made, made for the bones of gypsy. No, no, no! I knew I was going to say gypsies before I started that sentence. <laughs> All right, so so here's what's going to happen: you are going to compete with your skill and your brain power, but you'll be against the I supernatural power now. of Hitler's falling from my hands dice. Yeah, <laughs> they're haunted. Proof, proof, they're haunted by Hitler's own spirit, <laughs> and we will find out. What, whether you will emerge victorious or whether you, my friend, will have to hear. You, you, you just lost to Hitler's dice. <laughs> and so I hope you win. I hope that, I hope Listen, that man, you. If I defeat. lose, everybody loses. <laughs> that's, that's true, right? It okay, is up wait. to you, Andrew. You are, you are the last remaining hope to beat back the undead spirit of Hitler's dice. It's uh, true. You know, I, I've got to tell you, a lot of pressure here. But then again, if I believe in fate, then maybe you know, maybe if Hitler's triumphant, it's not my fault. Okay, I listen. That if I've never heard, apparently you're channeling the spirit of Neville, Neville Chamberlain at this exact moment. <laughs> hey, I can't be held accountable. I don't know. All right, are you ready to go for round one? You ready for go time? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, do I need to sign off some sort of legalese here or something? Uh, you, uh, oh, don't worry about look, it. Yeah, really. no, it's not like anyone ever gets upset about that kind of thing. Don't, don't even Why is this okay. in German? Well, okay. And we're trying to be part of it. Well, you need to work a little <laughs> harder. We'll, we'll get releases uh-huh. on everyone who calls every, in. Every um, week it's another <laughs> thing from you guys. Justin, every, I'm just <laughs> tired of your <laughs> Every week it's another thing. I ask you for show notes on time, I don't get them. You know, I'm, I'm frankly, I don't even know what you're doing on this show. It's Brian that carries the show. Uh, <laughs> do you hear how um, awkward I get at that moment? Like, uh, uh, can, I, can I tell you, Brian, I, I, I got to, I, I can sympathize with Dane. Whole first year of Justin and I doing the, the iTrix podcast. Let me tell you what. <laughs> it was nothing but releases. And that, I was Dane. Notes. That was me. That was me. <laughs> All right, look, I say it's time for round one of Guess the Hate. Okay, Just so let me get this straight. All right, I'm allowed to interrupt and ask this again. Okay, yep, go ahead. Uh, cause like uh, I'm slow. No, no. Okay, <laughs> the game is the game is we're going to read you the most critical comment in all of iTunes for a popular for a certain popular podcast. Your job is to, based on this particular comment, figure out which is the podcast. Don't worry, it's multiple choice. Otherwise, oh, you know, cause, I'm like, oh, because like, I mean, there's a lot of Hitler's stuff in dice. It. They can't talk, yo. So they got to express okay, it. I was multiple. just going to say this American life for everything. No. Yes. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe it is. You never know. All right, Justin, uh, I want you to read the first quote in the voice of a Russian action hero. Go. I could tap a mic onto my dog, turn him loose in the neighborhood, and that file would be more entertaining than this thing. For a truly poor attempt at comedy, it's a classic. I was slack-jawed as they stumbled through their shtick. The host advertisement for Just Say No to Drugs came across, uh, though after <laughs> listening, I needed some. All right, the question is, Andrew Main, was that a quote about Smodcast with Kevin Smith, Mark Marin's WTF, or Never Not Funny... The Jimmy Pardo podcast. Andrew Maine, go first. Which one is it? Talk Smart it out. Cast. Talk it out. Well, wow, there was no hesitation there. It's the only one of the three I listen to. So and there's <laughs> only one. It's like so so you know, based on your experience with Smodcast, that, that was that that was a compatible description. <laughs> no, that's the complete opposite of my description. But uh if I were to imagine if somebody were to hate it, what they might say, that would probably be it. Well, let's see what one of Hitler's dice says. Oh, it says WTF with Mark Marin. So the question mm-hmm. is, which one is the right one? <gasps> Smodcast with Kevin Smith. That means... Uh- can I... Can I... Can I... Yes. I, I won over Hitler? You, well, yeah! you did defeat this Hitler. Time. 
Can I just say the other little clue that was in there? Um, little critical thinking. It said uh, use the plural. The other two only had one person in each one of the photos. So ah, well that's yeah. uh, that's uh, 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 a little uh, a little thinking there. Apparently, thinking, logical thoughts. Hitler's dice. <laughs> it's apparently yeah. logical thought is not a hallmark. Dice, Hitler. <laughs> Hitler's <laughs> dice. All right, right. So I right like now, names nuts in your face, right, Hitler. <laughs> right, right now, right now, the score is Hitler's dice zero. I <laughs> roll with the allies. Allies. I right. say we quit while we're ahead. <laughs> no, we must venture deeper into the subconscious of the Hitler's dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on to the next one. Uh, this one here. I just want to point out in the chat room, somebody wanted to know when Justin's going to show up in the album art, and I've been giving Justin heat about that all the time. I like, don't know. Yeah, Brian's actually, show's great. It's great. You dude, I, I actually it. brought it up at the last meeting. It did not go well. It was well. Weird. Well, I don't know. Why don't you Why don't you get a lawyer to give me a, a cease and desist letter and get off the show? Maybe I, no, work. Dude, I, look, you look, could look. be replaced is all I can say. Uh, I I thought putting the the plush dolphin on would be a cute thing to, yeah, you know. really f***ing cute. What did that guy send you? It after he had his c in it. Uh, Is that was that guy a friend of yours? No, he wasn't a friend. It was a random 4chan guy that got on there. It's the internet. Yeah, dude. how did you get the same f***ing dolphin? <laughs> okay, all right. On to round two. I say it's go time here for round two. Right, by the way, and we're back live. Just so I, for the audio listeners, I know it can be a little confusing. But oh, yeah, no, live. I guess we should say. I Okay, listen, audio listeners, the moment you randomly hear Justin and I arguing with our producer, Dane, <laughs> very upset, then that's not happening live. <laughs> that's what you got to remember. All right, how do you want me to read this one, Justin? Uh, I want you to read this one uh, as an, an Irish sea captain who's recently discovered he's gay. <laughs> All right, I got to think this through. An Irish sea captain who recently discovered he's gay. <laughs> yeah, can, can you hear the, the, the chanty in the background? Well, I, yes, I would imagine... The old spice guy hooking up with Gordon's fisherman. <laughs> I would imagine that he's somebody who's very uncomfortable. I like these fish sticks. I would imagine he's Treat, uncomfortable. Treat for the dolphin. I you would like imagine he's... <laughs> Gentlemen, this is, I'm trying to think this through here. If I would imagine that he's very uncomfortable with himself, maybe a bit cautious in the way he asks this. Don't know me. You know, I know what I like. <laughs> Seriously, folks, this is like an exercise in how not to be funny. Two people making up really lame jokes, and then they both laugh like it's the funniest thing ever. It's not so bad, just the opposite of funny. But there's no real content or entertainment value. Warning! Do not listen with sharp objects because you will probably plunge it deep into your eardrums to ease the pain caused by the world's worst comedy duo. He, are you, what, are you back? Oh, you got, okay, good. You got, you went to put a hat on. I was just like, I was like, one of our contestants just left. I think Hitler just won him by default. <laughs> No, no, I like it. This is a better move. My lucky hat, hat up before the second it, round. I, I figured to wear my lucky hat from the Joseph Giger Salzburg. It's actually a German hat. So, <laughs> all right, okay. So, which? Oh, I see. You're trying to commune directly with the spirit of Hitler's dice. Hitler's Maybe dice. Maybe it was his hat. I'm just saying. <laughs> so the question is: Was that previous oh, quote? Oh, Freulein. <laughs> was that previous quote about NSFW? Hey, that's our show. What's funny? It's like freaking Travis, right? Uh, oh, this Week in Fun or Smodcast. Another repeat here. And this, this was, they were they were smart enough. They closed up your loophole right there and picked two co-host shows. Oh, that's or good. Three co-hosts. Three co-hosts. Co Although you couldn't tell from the album art. It looks like there's only two. Hat. Can I hear Oh, that yeah, again? look at that. What do you got, Andrew? Can I, can I hear the question again? What, really? I got the hat on now. All right. Seriously, folks, this is like an exercise in how not to be funny. Two people making up really lame jokes, then they both laugh like it was the funniest thing ever. It's so bad. Not just the opposite of funny, but there's no real content or entertainment value. Warning, do not listen with sharp objects because you'll probably plunge it deep in your eardrums to ease the pain caused by the world's worst comedy duo. Who and and Andrew, those, those three uh, options are, again, NSFW, Smodcast, or This Week in... Uh, that's This Week in Fun, sir. What, what is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm torn here. Come on, uh, buddy. It's only never, an hour long I, show. I never listened to This Week in Fun. I don't know if it's really a comedy show. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I hear that's more bitter than fun. So I'm going to go... Uh, Pick it. 
Pick it. Uh, chat room. Tell me what he said. No, Pick don't it. go into the chat room. This is you competing. We, the chat room. Was, come on. Why, why are you, you had up? Hitler. Why did you allies, put on that? Allies, hats? my friend. The chat, the chat room would crush you if this was a head-to-head -head competition with them. Which one? I'm asking for their help. Come on, well, dude. This week in fun. Ugh. All right. Hitler says it's NSFW. <laughs> Which, by the way, I realize there's a problem with asking the chat room is when you crowdsource this, they'll just go and load up iTunes and read all of them. So you're not allowed to look at the chat room anymore. Well, so I'm counting on the people in the chat room. I know. Okay. And the answer is this week in fun. Yes. No. Where's, where, where's your sound effect, Justin? There we go. You can turn up the volume on the sound effects a Thank little bit. You, all right. Uh, this week in fun, that's two for two. Brian, let me tell you something I learned, okay? What did this you learn, sir? Brian, Brian, let me tell you something. Brian. Okay? Uh, right. I think it was like, actually David Mamet said this well before I ever uh, read, uh, uh, you know, Sir Wiki's book on all of that. Um, audience is always smarter than you are. Well, I know. Yes, absolutely. Which is why you're not allowed to talk to them anymore. No I'm more talking loud. between you loud. and the audience. Are you guys going to stand up for this? No. Yes, dude. The no, chat room knows on, they're man. smarter you're than you. You're going to let Hitler win? You're going to help Hitler? Chat, chat room already wins. You know what? Maybe Hitler's dice will use the chat room from now yeah. on. All right, look, we'll go on to yeah, the next one. Yeah, by the way, how are you divining the will of Hitler's dice? Can I, I ask you that? I'm rolling the dice, which is, a, as, as we all know, something that happens a lot on, on NSFW. I'm rolling the dice, <laughs> and if it's one or two, that's option A. If it's three or four, that's option B. If it's five or six, that's option C. And well, then there Brian we go. All right. Everyone explain your methodology. Mein Kampf. That's right. And then I got, go down to the page passage, number and whatever word, head, Mein and Kampf shows me the way. All right. Look, uh, by the way, I just want I just want him to freaking, I want Hitler to win because I want to hear this again. You, you, you yeah, just you lost to Hitler's dice. <laughs> All right. So are you ready for the next one? This next one. Justin, please read this as erratically as you're able to manage erratically what? all right <laughs> i'd rather clip the toenails sorry i'm hey, listen i want to apologize i screwed up on that one here we go i'd rather clip my toenails with an egg beater that's pretty erratic all right so the question is was that the soup podcast with joel McHale, dane cast with dane cook or best week ever from VH1. Three, not so much new media podcasts. Very There's old media. There's my answer. There's my answer. Oh, are you are you giving it straight to to, to Dane Cook? I'm going straight to Dane. Uh, all right, and then so I'm going to roll the dice for for Hitler's Hitler's dice. Hitler's dice also picking. Uh, the Dane cast. All right, I'm sorry. Fuhrer, yeah. Fuhrer's got to roll again. Fuhrer what? can't double park. Dude, what I. He made a selection. If he was here, you wouldn't tell him he just can't go. Yeah, yeah I would. I'd no, tell we, him, would. Hey, we would, Brian. Hey, before we could assassinate him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I guess. I mean, what is it that? Oh, that's okay. He, he picks best week ever. He picks best week ever. Freaking Hitler. Hey, stars. thanks for playing along, Adolf. That's all right. And it's Dane Cast. All right. That's great. Oh, oh, Justin, can I just say, like, like uh, you're not you're not as fast on the soundboard as I was as picturing you being for for these. This is hey, a little bit of a lag. Out, this, I'm uh, just. I'm just saying. The right. chan guy that got on there. It's the internet. Yeah. Dude. How did you get the a same dolphin? dolphin. It's, well, it's, it's not it's the not, same it's dolphin. Not the dolphin. Number one, that dolphin's mouth doesn't open, which was a crucial element of the first dolphin. So yeah, I'm, I think you should I'm, know. I'm, well, I mean, what, it thought it'd be funny. People liked it. It was uh, Leo yeah, it was mentioned really it funny. when we were in South by. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, that it's, was real f funny. You know, I almost saw it, lost my job over that. <laughs> well, no, Wait, are you guys recording this? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the file when Dane says, "Are you guys recording this?" All right, you ready for the next one, Justin? Are you ready? Yeah. No. Uh, go ahead. You want me to read it? Yes. I want All you right, to read this. I want you to read this in your best impression of Dane Golden, <laughs> this, the VP of Twit. Uh, I wish I had a beep sound. Uh, all right. Give me the... Oh, yeah. I should probably have it on someone besides yeah. you. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the writers are no longer on strike. 
This is exactly what happens to people with zero talent have access to a video camera. <laughs> I guess that some people really want to get the most out of their Halloween costume. I just wish it wasn't at the expense of others. All right. Andrew Main. Was that? I kind of want to make you just pick it randomly. Was that Ask a Ninja, Dig Nation, or The Tech Grouch with John C. Dvorak? Uh, I didn't think Tech Grouch. I didn't read Dvorak. Wow. Um, I'm going to say Ask a Ninja. You're going to say Ask a Ninja? Yeah. Interesting. Hitler's Dice? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Hitler's Dice? Also picked Ask a Ninja, but for some reason, I think Justin's going to disallow Hitler's Dice's yeah. vote again. Way to I follow me, Hitler's, Hitler's Dice. Hitler should be forced to pick his own thing. Well, I don't think, they, maybe they should give Hitler's Dice the first roll next time. Well, okay, all right. Well, then that'll be what we do next time then. And in that case, in fact, maybe I'm, I'm all of a sudden I'm wondering why Hitler's Dice doesn't get to go first the whole show long. I don't know why it took us this long <laughs> to figure this out. All right, Hitler's Dice picks... Dig Nation. Hitler's Dice, for the record, big fan of Kevin and Alex, apparently. <laughs> I, love, I love all of the Dig Nation prod. No, I would never say that. So <laughs> Okay, there we go. I think Revision 3 puts out fantastic. I'm just going to say that. Uh, well, good. I'm glad you have that right, at least, sir. <laughs> now, let's do uh, the answer is... Ask a Ninja. <laughs> I'm smelling, I'm smelling a rigged podcast here. I'm smelling some shenanigans, some tomfoolery, <laughs> some behind the scenes. Maybe Justin Robert Young wanted to impress his publisher. Oh my God, you're not going there, Brian. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying Hitler's dice keeps trying to, to get it right. And, but, but before they even get the chance, all of a sudden, Andrew Maine has already got the answer. And Justin conveniently says, oh, by the way, you don't get to choose Hitler's dice. Well, what? I mean, this isn't Hitler's Dice and Andrew tie. It's Hitler beats Andrew Dice or Hitler's Dice beats Andrew. Okay? I'm just, I'm just We're saying. We're not playing for ties here, Bri. Bri, listen, baby. Bri. <laughs> I'll get with Bri, the Bri. Bri. Calm down, baby. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. Brian, would you like me to work through my, my critical reasoning skills and all of these for you? Uh, no, I really, really, really wouldn't, nobody, Andrew. <laughs> nobody wants that, all right? <laughs> okay. Just. <laughs> All right, look, let's go on to the next one here. This oh one God. here, what do you... Uh... By the way, I deny uh, uh, accusations are coming into the chat room that I waited Hitler's dice... No, no such truth to those rumors. No, they are genuinely Maybe they haunted. weren't all gypsies. They're they genuinely gypsies. haunted, as far as we know, by, by Hitler's malevolent spirit there. of ruining our internet goof off games. <laughs> so let's do uh, next one here. How do you want? How do you want this one read, Justin? Uh, I want this one read as a uh, a southerner who is finally a uh, minutes ago uh, realized his lifelong dream of skydiving. <laughs> Okay, all right, here we go. Yeah. Like he just finished skydiving. He just oh, he's finished. A little, maybe he's very excited. He's out of breath. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> oh, 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 man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Y'all guys don't all really like this podcast, do you? It was just an elaborate ruse to fall people, wasn't it? Where's Ashton? Come on. Where is he? If y'all really want to laugh your tail off, check out the Rick and Gervais Show podcast. It makes Mondays worth looking forward to. Oh! <laughs> Was that to your satisfaction, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Oh, dude, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was really feeling it. I felt the joy like it was a blue, blameless, cloudless I'm, day. I'm just, I'm just glad that finally we could tap into your, your impression potential. I <laughs> oh, was so finally, Brian does an impression. All the other, like, impressions are just complete nonsense gibberish. But excited Southerner who just realized his lifelong dream of skydiving was your calling. Oh, oh my oh. God, you're killing me. I, I, I want to know if Bonnie stepped into the room and was... Uh, you don't Rolling know. Rolling the dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the question is, was that about Keith and the girl? Was it about Web Zeros on, re on Revision 3, actually? and what, Or was it for Tiki Bar TV? First, let us go to Hitler's Dice. Hitler's oh. Dice. <laughs> Which of these three was it? He says... It was Web Zeros. Andrew Maine? 
Um, I don't even know what the other. I, I take the bar TV I see and I like, uh, but I like Ricky Gervais, which I would think you might like the two together, but uh, I don't even know what Keith and the girl is. It's apparently well, about Keith. Yeah, there's, there's this guy, Keith, and the girl. He's got a girl in there. Mm. The two of them stuff. do a podcast. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And from the uh, cover, we can define that they're white. <laughs> Either that or ghosts. Perhaps they're undead. They're goth or, ghosts. Or very embarrassed or surprised. That's that's true. That is how it goes. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna flip a coin into my grandfather's whoa, whoa. hat. Who, you who don't get to flip World Abraham Lincoln's coin. Well, yeah, no, no, no. Are we no? Abe Lincoln's coin is is in play. You can't flip Abe Lincoln's coin. <laughs> Abe Lincoln's hey, coin is in play. It's a hat for my grandfather who fought in World War II. Oh, mind you, too. Fine, you can flip Abe Lincoln's uh, freaking he's coin. He's putting the patent hat into play. <laughs> All right, go. What is it going to be? Pick one. I'm going to say Tiki Bar TV. Tiki Bar TV, Justin. The answer is... Don't come on! Yeah. Not again. Not again. There's no way. There's no way it's that is It's a clean real. sweep, baby. There's Hitler's no way can't this get is for board. He can't win for losing. There's many, no way this is real. How many more of these are we going to go, Brian? Are you just, are you just going to wait statistically for a random walk so Hitler will win? Is I'm that just, what you're going to do? I'm, I'm, I'm just, look, you don't understand. I was very proud of a certain Hitler's Dice's <laughs> victory <laughs> sound effect. You, you, you just lost. All right, I will throw the next the one, Hitler's okay? Dice. No, no, you do not throw the game to Hitler's Dice. That is wrong on so many levels. Dude, Hitler's Dice at zero. As somebody who's confused as a Jew, I'm offended by that notion. <laughs> when you say confused as a Jew, like you just happen to be confused and you're Jewish or... or no, I probably should have said confused for a Jew, but I was too busy yelling to get the right words out of my <laughs> mouth. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we, I mean, we might have to call it after, after this one. Well, this will be the last one. I mean, pretty much. I, if we do this, and this is actually something you can look up on Wikipedia, should Hitler's dice be beaten in a clean sweep, his soul is vanquished back to the netherworld for which it came. It, and it, that's on Wikipedia. You can it, source that. It is. By the way, you know what's funny is the moment you say that, I look over the chat room, and I have absolutely no doubt that before this podcast is over, we'll be able to go to Wikipedia and see a <laughs> screen cap of exactly that fact on there. I, I certainly hope that nobody does the screen cap and sends it over as soon as possible. All right. All right well... I certainly hope that that I don't have an excuse to play my fabulous, fabulous little movie again. I was so proud of it too, and I never got to play it, not even once. Except for the fourth, the four times that you played it randomly. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I never got the chance because he hasn't won. Never got a chance to play. Just lost to Hitler's dice. <laughs> Did not get to play that at all. I'm so upset. Okay, this one right here, Justin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Justin, 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 Justin. Yeah. For the win against Hitler's eternal this, this is a vanquishing point. This is a this vanquish is what, point. This is what's referred to in the game show industry as a soul vanquishing point. That's right. Uh, I tell you what I want you to do is I want you to read this one as uh, the very, very angry. Was it Al Pacino and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Or was it Gabriel Byrne? Uh, I can never he remember. Was, no, he was uh, uh, Mr. Roma, Richard Roma. Al Pacino. Yeah, uh, in Glengarry Glen Ross, right? Yeah. Read yeah. it like that. Go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Some funny stuff, but clearly has a left-wing agenda. Democrat-loving, Republican, dissing theme. Too bad. <laughs> that was actually, I was really, I was impressed. Yeah, kudos to you, sir. Well done. Uh, the question, Andrew, was, was that... Oh! Oh! <laughs> you just cost oh! me $6,000. $6,000! $6, I'm sorry, I had to chew it. I didn't see the choices there. Uh, the choices are, is that the dig reel from Revision 3, Dignation from Revision 3, or This Week in Fun on the Twit Network? Mm. Andrew? Mm. Uh, we uh, uh, remind you of the stakes, Andrew. Should you win this point and therefore clean sweep should, Hitler's should dice? Should Hitler's dice go first? I feel like Hitler's dice should go first. I think it should too. All right. Hitler's dice. This is yours to save, Hitler's dice. Well, should, should Hitler's dice win this point 
He loses the game, obviously, but he does remain in our world, in our mortal world, haunting dice around the world. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Which is sort of like that's that's you know, on the one hand, it's like there's there's winning the game, which might be nice, and then there's like not going to, to hell forever. So my guess is he'd be okay with with I mean we'll see. We'll see on this one. He oh, says way to speak for Adolf. Well, I'm just I'm just guessing. With for it's not no like presumptuous. It's oh, you know what? You're right. Uh, this one uh, he picked this week in fun. Andrew Maine. And I'll go with Dignation. You're clearly. <laughs> Are you playing your own music? Is it? This is this is our show. You don't come on our show and play. We play the. You just, oh, I'm this, sorry. What was that? Oh, this all. Oh, this is. Yeah, I on. think this is the first time that we've ever been Hitler rolled. No, we, <laughs> <laughs> <wing. laughs> we just got hit rolled. You uh, never expect the Hitler roll, and we just got Hitler rolled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just got hit rolled. So the question is, what is your pick, Andrew May? I'm gonna say Dignation then, all right? Dignation this weekend from for this the not salvation. Uh for the vanquish, it is the date reel on revision oh. three. So Hitler guessed the other one, so Hitler so you both lose, one. but you yeah. both lose, and you know what that means? If both of you lose, then that Can means uh, you, you, you just lost to Hitler's dice. But no, Brian, I didn't lose to Hitler's no, dice. No, he tied Hitler's dice. Like, <laughs> yeah, but you did. You, 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 you failed. failed. You failed dice. to vanquish Hitler's uh -huh. spirit, and now he continues to haunt no, these dice. I think, uh, here, here, how about this? Uh, we're going to do a read, and we got the weird things bit, but I say at the end of this episode, we have the one final question that will or will not definitively vanquish Hitler's Hitler's spirit. This is the yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm down with that. No, that's disrupt. good. That's good. This is the episode, the most important of NSFW episodes ever. It's the episode where we vanquish the haunted spirit from haunting these dice with freaking Hitler. So the question, uh, by the way, for those of you guys watching live on the, why are you laughing at my enthusiasm for vanquishing Hitler? I'm very, very excited. excited about this Hitler thing. Oh, dude, I mean, to vanquish Hitler ourselves? I mean, that's huge. Number one, I think if people go back and listen to this podcast, there are some very serious allegations as to where your allegiances lie in this game. I'm rolling with the allies and Andrew Maine and his patent hat and Lincoln's quarter that he's flipping around and using for the good guys. But oh, Mr. Oh, but I made I made old Mr. H a fun little sounder that I get to play if he wins. What? Ain't that right, boss? <laughs> Ain't that right, boss? Ain't enough? Hold on. Somebody's holding up his framed portrait of, uh, of Hitler. Live in NSW. Oh, wait, that's not a framed portrait. That's a freaking iPad. <laughs> Why don't you just take that right off the stage? Oh, hey. Corey Doctorow was right. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get here. so let's do this uh, real quick. When we come back, we're going to be taking your calls where we want to hear about your true tales of the supernatural. We want to hear your best friend of a friend stories where you tell us about a true supernatural event, whether it's your uncle who saw Bigfoot, whether it's some aliens that hurt your, your aunt feelings. who had intimate relations with Bigfoot. That's right. Or perhaps you too have had an encounter with, with Hitler's dice. But regardless, that's all going to be your calls coming up later on. Uh, you guys know the number, those of you who are regulars. And uh, please don't be freaked out by the weirdness when you call. You'll hear an echo. But first, we've got to talk about our favorite sponsor. Who's that, yes! Mr. Justin Robert Young? Audible is back in our loving embrace. And boy, Brian, have I not in any way uh, diminished my inappropriate love for that service. Audible.com. Hey, speaking of which, actually, how far along are you in Pandora Stars? Last time we talked about this, you had just started Pandora Star and you were totally digging it because it had the hardcore sci-fi elements. It was well read, and if you don't dig on like uh, you know the singularity and quantum well, mechanics, well, no, yeah, I mean, I think it's not that you don't dig on it. It's super, super cool, but sometimes you also want a little super sweet loving and boobs and guns and explosions <laughs> and, and sexy and criminals. 
sexy 140 year old ladies like that's the craziest oh part. they're like you know they're like with the body of a 22 year old by the way she's 148 so anyway. i know god talk about this this brings milf to a whole new level <laughs> this is like uh good gilf yeah with that many g's so what what are you finished with it yet are you on to the next i don't know well because i spent a bunch of time on the road and then i wound up having a bunch of podcasts i back on through but i'm back on the train right now i'm back on the pandora star train right now do you want to get your recommendation a second week in a row or do you want to talk no 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 you go ahead i'm trying to think of something that uh that i can that i can pick all right last time we talked about it i talked about uh bringing down the house uh no i'm sorry from the author of bringing down the house ben mesrich uh the accidental billionaires about the founding of of MySpace, or I'm sorry, uh, Facebook, and uh, wow, it's really weird because I spent the first third of the book being like, wow, this is kind of boring and laborious, uh, but then but then again, that's how real life works, and it told the story, it read it as fiction, but like about halfway through the book, it's like, bam, when like betrayal and intrigue starts to happen, and it really sucked me in, and it left me with this irrational rage against Facebook. And it, I highly, I stick to that recommendation. But for my recommendation this week, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to one of my all time favorite experiences I've ever had with Audible. There's a, there's a guy who, in my opinion, is the greatest audiobook reader who ever lived. His name, uh, his name was Frank Muller. He was in a motorcycle accident, lost his ability to read and shortly two years later actually died. And in fact, there's the Wave Dancer Foundation where you could donate to, uh, to support his family. The best audiobook reader, reader I've ever heard. And the book that blew my mind that he read was The Gunslinger, book one of the Dark Tower mm. series from Stephen King. Andrew, have you read have you read any of the Dark Tower books? Wait, here's here's the thing on that. And by the way, I just want to do uh, I I am not compensated like these corporate shills in front of you right here. Yes. And I am a <laughs> huge, huge, huge Audible fan. And besides the books we love, it is a fantastic service. You get your credit every month or whatever plan you get, and then it rolls over if you don't use it. Because I go through like spurts where I'm like traveling a lot and I listen to a lot of stuff or sometimes I don't and it's a great way to know that you're going to take advantage of it. I like Netflix but you know you have those DVDs that just sit there that sometimes you don't use and you're like why am I paying for this? With Audible it's, it's great always there. You it's on your iPhone. It's on your mobile device. Oh my you gosh. Can... It, absolutely. And I absolutely absolutely love it and some of my favorite experiences bar none in entertainment in the last two years have been Audible books and you know whether it's the Peter of Hamilton stuff we saw. I saw someone just mentioned uh, Night's Dawn trilogy which I can't wait. Anthem, things like that. It is to me. It's it's like a movie in your head. Yeah, and, it, and I tell you, it has this magical ability to transform. <laughs> why? Why are you laughing at that, Justin? This is Andrew's face. He's like, oh, 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 it's like a movie in your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Audible. How good of a how good of a tagline was that? Hit me up, Andrew Main at gmail dot com. <laughs> so Brian, you just asked me a question. What was that again? Oh, oh Dark I was, Tower. I was asking if you had a pick that you want to recommend for anyone. Yeah. Okay. Just back there. I started reading like Dark Tower when I was like eleven, and I got really weirded when like the the first encounter with his revolver and the old woman. Oh um, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Was, I put it down, but I've added it back to my Audible list because I do want to listen to it. I really want to listen to it. A lot of people that. don't know that actually his entire career, like from 1977 up until 2000. Stephen King, not Mr. Audible. Yeah, uh, St Stephen King, yeah, not yeah. Mr. Audible. Stephen King's entire career, actually, uh, most of the books that he wrote are, he calls them satellites around the dark. He says Dark Tower is his Jupiter and all the other books are sort of satellites revolving around it. So you'll find little references that are specifically to the Dark Tower buried in his other books, which is amazing. And Frank Muller is an amazing reader. What do you got? Uh, um, well, I let me just say this. When when you listen to all these Audible live reads, especially on Twit and, and another uh, podcast, which are great, but you always get these, you know, kind of sci-fi heavy uh, recommendations, which are great because we all love sci-fi books. But I'm a huge nonfiction reader, and they have a great uh, lineup of, of nonfiction stuff, mm -hmm. uh, including... Some of my favorite nonfiction books, Brian mentioned um, Bringing Down the House, which is Ben Meserich, which is a fantastic book. If you saw the movie 21 and you're like, boo, this stinks, yes, it did. It was terrible compared to Bringing Down the House, which, I mean, the movie completely missed the whole uh, race angle of it and the fact that there was all these Asian kids that uh, you know took advantage of this racial loophole of these casinos that only looked out for white card counters. Uh, but my recommendation, uh, far and away, is going to have to be um uh oh god i can't even remember it now moneyball yes moneyball Money uh it is the story if you don't like sports but you are into a triumph of the nerds oh you've talked story. about this before yeah no tell me more about it 
Bain, it's a story of, it's Michael Lewis, who is, I mean, I think he holds this chapter, best nonfiction writer living today. Uh, it, it's about Billy Bean, who ran the Oakland A's and basically decided in his super jock world, decided, hey, I'm going to use stuff like math and, uh, you know, tap all these fantasy geeks that had been sort of under the surface of, uh, you know, baseball fandom for years and created a, a team that competed on, like, an eighth of the budget of every other team in the major leagues and just redefined uh, what it meant to be, uh, you know, a major league GM. So Moneyball, awesome. it is, if you don't like sports, it is worth reading. All right, so let me say, let's, let's talk about two things real quick. First of all, uh, if you want to get any of these books for free, by the way, did you actually make a, a pick? Uh, Andrew, I didn't hear your pick. It's because you interrupted me, Brian. Yeah, no, that's what I do. Welcome to the uh, show. No, um, uh, my pick that, uh, if nobody's already picked it for, Anathem. Anathem is yes. like one of my favorite books of all time. Anathem is an audio book. It's fantastic. And then after you listen to it, you're going to want to go back and read it. Not to say the audio thing is it's just such an awesome book. So yeah. Anathem is just... Okay, so, so if you want to get Anathem, if you want to get uh, The Gunslinger, The First Dark Tower book, or you want to get Moneyball, you can get any of them for free by signing up at audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. And here's the only part that just rockets us ahead of everyone else is that NSFW fans are the only fans who get bribed personally. Straight. By yours, straight up bribes, homie. Straight up bribed by Brian Brushwood personally. If you sign up at audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW, take a screen grab, send us a picture of it, and along with your address, and I'll send you a personal copy of my book, Cheats, Cons, Swindles, and Tricks, 57 Ways to Scam a Free Drink, absolutely free. Also, oh, look at that, coming soon to the iPad. Thanks to, uh, thanks to... It's on, it's on, on the iPad name. now. I just want to remind it's everybody, you have, uh, of course, the gold plan, which gives you uh, one credit a month, the platinum plan, which gives you two credits a month, or the plan that I have, the unobtainium plan, which is a billion credits a month. That's right. Look, just look for the unobtainium. Uh, one, one other thing, a lot of people, credits. a lot of people want to support the show, and they've already said, they've already they've already signed up, they've already done it, and they, uh, they want to know what else they could do. Somebody in the chat room suggested, why don't you tweet out, thank you, pound, or I'm sorry, uh, at audible underscore com for supporting NSFW show, best show on the internet. Better than all the other shows. All right, so let's do, uh, want to open up the phone lines? We'll actually take some calls. I want to hear about people's weird things. We should, explain, we should explain what we do. This exact same trio of characters right here. Uh, we we get together and do something called the Weird Things Podcast. How would you describe it, Mr. Andrew Main? What do you, what, what's your elevator pitch on the Weird Things Podcast? Okay, imagine like you and your two best friends live in the same neighborhood and the parents are out of the house and you all go into the basement, but you like, you don't mow each other. But instead, by the way, this already sounds like the weird things podcast, the way you're setting it up, like a specific thing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Instead, you light a couple candles. Maybe it gets dark. Maybe there's a storm outside. Maybe you hear something. Maybe you say, Hey guys, I got an idea. Let's go into the spooky woods and back of the house because you heard there's some old guy that lives in a shack out there that only comes out at night and worships Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the point at the point is what he's trying to say is apparently we're a bunch of like middle-aged fifth graders and we love, we love to, uh, to continue to, to entertain the supernatural and unusual things. And we actually have somebody on the line right now. Caller, you're on the air. Do you have an actual story of the supernatural that you'd like to share with us? Yes, I do, Brian. I do. It was a it was a dark, stormy night in March, and I was eating my favorite kind of soup, spaghettios, and uh, it spelt a couple words in my actual soup. It spelt J R Y Andrew Maine and Brian Brushwood at the same entire swirl. Let me explain something about this bit. Uh, <laughs> This is only really going to work if you give us something for reals to work with. I mean, granted, look, we understand our audience, and we understand your compulsion right. to actually well, call wait, 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 wait. Why are you denying this guy's experience, okay? I'm, this guy's claiming you know what, you're right. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a very good point because, because that's something we don't do on the Weird Things podcast. That's the problem is that the other shows are too cynical or too credulous, right? <laughs> we like to think that we're right there in the middle. All right, now let me ask caller. Let me ask you a question. I already hung up on him, but I'll be happy to uh, answer on yeah, his behalf yeah, no. using Hitler's <laughs> dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well the lines lines are open. If you if you have a good story, and it doesn't have to be your story, but tell tell us about one of uh, one of your yeah. I mean, every every neighborhood in America and, and abroad 
has the story that everyone tells about the old woods or some urban legend at the park down the street that it was some grisly murder or a guy got struck by lightning and turned into a can wolf. I, can, I, can, I, can I throw a question out there? Uh, I, yeah, I would sure. love to. Go. Uh, I mean, I would... What's the crazy... And let's be sincere. Let's. I mean, I know we can all, hey, call the number, prank it, whatever, say something crazy. We get that. We get that. I mean, how many of you out there have, like, a crazy sort of belief? I mean, besides religion, which we'll all admit is just ridiculous. Oh, but some on. other That's crazy... Not. That's not, <laughs> this is not the form. And actually, and actually, if I can get real for just a moment, like I think that's a real misstep for, for people who are skeptical by nature to actually uh, throw religion under the bus. We're I think past it's very that now, Brian. To, Why do you keep bringing that up? We're past. All right, we're past. Right, we're past. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, here's my question. What's like, what's the weird thing you believe? And I'll tell you, I'll give you an example of something, okay? I was at a magic shop once. I don't know if you know I'm a magician by trade. And, uh, I was talking to some guys behind the counter. Another guy was in there, and he starts telling us this story. And, I mean, I didn't believe any of it, any of it, but I knew that he believed all of it. And he was talking about how he uh, he was in a he, – he, I mean, I believe the, he was he's into witchcraft, and he and some friends would go out into some middle of nowhere, and they would go out there, and they would have a bonfire, and they'd do some rituals and stuff. And he absolutely swears, absolutely swears that, like, a spirit demon appeared before them. OK, he described it, how they were freaked out. They didn't know he was in front of him. His presence was there and all that. And I loved hearing the story. I mean, it's like the guy is completely nuts. It didn't happen. But I still thought that was pretty cool because well, he believed it was real. And that's a very important thing. That's, to that's one of the things that I always try to uh, express to people. It's like somebody's sincerity. Like if there's one thing being a magician has taught me is that people will pervert what actually happened into the way they want to remember it. And people will mix up mm -hmm. bits and pieces. So when somebody describes something that sounds outrageous, it's not that they're trying to snow me. It's that they genuinely misremember it as this crazy nut, nutty event. Would you would you agree? Oh, absolutely. And and it's the way we uh, we we encapsulate these memories, the way we change them. You know, we have uh, in magic, we exploit this all the time because we know if we show you one thing and we add some detail that you didn't see, that'll get reincorporated back into the memory and the recall of it. There's a lot of data on how this works and you want to have these sort of stories. So anyhow, uh, I, I, I'm, I love to hear that. Not so I can go be judgmental. I know I believe some crazy stuff. I mean, crazy stuff I've never told you or Justin. And oh, dude, we've got to get that out of you at, yeah. some, at some point. Hey, uh, by the way, we have another caller on the air. Caller, you're on. What's up? Am I on? Yes, you are, sir. Yep. Awesome. Uh, like Jerry, I uh, sleepwalk occasionally. <laughs> and I've done some interesting things in my sleepwalking. As, uh, like, uh, such yeah. as? Oh, just uh, Sunday, I changed the light bulb. No. Now, now yes. we're, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt here. Like, 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 pinky swear. That's that's the standard on NSFW show. If you're willing to pinky swear, I'll trust you. Are you pinky swear? No, I, I, I believe I believe this. I and and, and he said it sounded like Jerry, end. but I think he was saying Jerry because in a uh, an early episode of NSFW, we talked about a little bit about my sleepwalking, uh, which, by the way, is returned. Maybe we'll go into this in another another uh, podcast. I kind of want to hear about this. That's pretty good. But, yeah, no, no. The sleepwalking, uh, sleepwalking, Jerry is back. But I, I believe this guy in, in in a major way. No, what, I definitely. Have you ever? Oh, have you ever? I have more. Like, I like have more. Do, does oh, it? Go, 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 sir. Yeah, please tell me what else. Uh, well, before that, the last time I slept walk that I can remember, uh, I locked myself out of a hotel room in Hawaii. That's pretty good. By the way, we're all being courteous because we're, we're really interested. Keep going if you got more. Oh, okay. Um, then, then before that, I was in Washington, D.C. The uh, night before, um, I saw these two uh, Arab ladies that had to, uh, that were, felt like they had to open the door for me, and their, their parents made them, I guess, is what happened. Or at least that's what I thought happened. And the next night, I guess I saw oh, one now. Man. Come on, Justin, Curtis. Justin. Justin, I have I'm no sorry. idea what he's saying, so he's white noise to me. I'm going to keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. Can, can, I, can I talk, which, by the way, never, never has more eloquently been spoken an analysis of how to deal with Justin Robert Young. He's white noise to me. I keep going. <laughs> In fact, somebody needs to make Open your mouth. one of those motivational posters that just says Justin Robert Young and in a subtitle, he's white noise. I keep going. 
You're, you're you're all welcome, by the way. So so tell me this. Tell me this. What is it like subjectively? Do, does it put you in a place where every time you wake up, you wonder what the hell just happened? Did I do something that I'm gonna regret? Or or like is is it well, is it like memento? Like, like you're God, solving blood on my knife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I would be I would be scared. I'd be like I'd be like you know the TV's on. Did I use it to kill anyone? I don't know. Well, I, I like, just when I just want to out of my hotel room in Hawaii. Um, I, I keep getting the echo. It's throwing me off. I know, no, I'm sorry. I'll do my best to, to block out the echo. But but um, no, uh, hold on. But, uh, uh, Andrew, it's white noise. Just say. keep going. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the fact that your first thing is to change the light bulb. That sounds like a really practical sort of sleep disorder where you actually get stuff done. Dude. I mean, I'll let a light bulb guy. I've got one up here. Been out forever. Haven't replaced it. You know I what? I love just the fact that I woke up. I'm like, wow. Somebody just oiled my car. Just, oh, just, just, Robert, all the old stuff my just Robert Young needs to develop done. the form of insomnia where he writes show notes while he's asleep. <laughs> oh, I know. I hope uh, next time I sleepwalk, I do my homework for college. That'd be great. Or, I don't know, do my laundry. All right. Well, uh, well let, let, me, let me ask you this. Cause this is the biggest thing. Is, is Do you ever really, and I don't know for me, it's kind of a weird irrational fear for, for a sleepwalker, that like there is another personality inside of you that has an agenda that is like getting a timeshare on your body because that, I know that's like something that like in my in my weirdest moments I'll worry about. Uh, as long as we're not occupying each other at the same time, it's cool with me. Wow. So like uh, you know because there's there's actually if we, if we can go into a weird thing direction here and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you drop off caller. Uh, like there are studies where people have their brains split because you know for an epilepsy disorder or whatever and they do you know when when your brain is split your right eye you know connects to the left hemisphere your left eye connects to the right hemisphere and on and on and on. Oh, you're showing us that terrible, terrible Stephen King movie, hey, Sleepwalkers. The first Stephen King story written expressly for the screen. It was a terrible. And, and, and by terrible. the way, he's showing it on an iPad. Yeah, thank uh, you. For, for, for the audio listeners. But, but well, no, here's this, what's this amazing was... is that is that they've done studies where they show they show one thing to one eye, they show something else to another eye, and like the brain, the the two sides of the brain seem to have different opinions of things. There's there are some that are more impulsive and like you know like fast cars and fast fast women, and the other side of the brain seems to like you know sense. Sensible cardigans. True story. I put both earbuds in there because my brain works the same, not quite as severely as people have split brain where the corpses calm separated, but literally I put both in there because I noticed that my attention level is different when, Dude, when you're the Andrew, I've never done this with you. What am I doing right now, buddy? Pinky swear, absolutely. No, I swear you Pinky swear that you, you yeah, man, that's interesting. Do you have a favorite ear that you put your phone to when you talk? Uh, well, well I'm right-handed, so I usually, no, you know what? I always put it up to my left ear, which I always think is weird because I'm I'm right-handed, but I always put it up I to my left it, ear. I'm saying, maybe to keep the hand free, but I mean, it's one of those things, like, I think this ear is always the one that, for some reason, and yes, I did use corpses Callum, or collapse them, whatever we call that term. They'll correct me in the chat room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good crowd source that. All right, hold on. We got another caller on the uh, line. Well, Call yeah, let me, yeah, let me just, just uh, one, more, one more thing that uh, I always used to worry about when I was a kid, and that was really when I used to sleepwalk a lot, is that I always used to worry that, like, it would almost be, like, in, like, a movie-like kind of quality, like, my sleepwalk self would... You know, like call the girl I secretly had a crush on <laughs> or, you know, just do things that I didn't want to do or would be embarrassed to do. Like it was just, I, I, there was this other element of my personality. You know what's um, funny? It's like, this is weird because it's like you and 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 please don't run with this as I said this. And, and, and that's like pouring gasoline on a fire. I know. But it's like, it's like what you're describing, you're concerned that in your sleep, you would be too uninhibited and do something you regret. Like I actually experienced the reverse when I dream because, you know, I'm happily married over a decade now, but it's like, I'll always have these dreams where some girl's hitting on me and I'm all like, no, no, I'm not interested. I'm married. And then I wake up and I'm just like, damn it. That was a dream. Why was I so responsible? <laughs> Thank you, Justin. <laughs> uh, we lost the caller. They didn't. They didn't hold on. I don't know if they understood that uh, they were on. Well, I'll tell you what. I think. I mean, we're we're coming up on the end of the. Uh, uh, we we got to get into the. Is it the time for the final yet. showdown? Is it time to finally put the yeah. the spirit of, of <laughs> Hitler dice? Hitler's dice. <laughs> so when, uh, when does the real when does the real show begin? Any minute know. now. Any minute now. We're gonna. You know, I do want to bring one more caller on. We have one more caller calling back. Hey, caller. Yeah, yeah. Caller, yeah. yeah. call turn down your radio. Boom. <laughs> and stop talking. Right now. 
Oh my god, this is terrible. Terrible. Boo this man. Yeah, no, boo that. <laughs> All right, last chance. We got time for one more call, and then we really do have to wrap things up here. People are uh, telling me. While, while people are calling in, I just want to remind everybody, if you dig any element of, of this uh, this part of the podcast or want to hear a better version of us doing it, uh, weirdthings.com. Please go there every single day. Uh, Matt Finley, who does a fantastic job writing the site every single day, and the podcast that comes up, uh, please go to uh, you know iTunes, look up weirdthings.com, and, uh, and, and get it, because I love doing it, and hopefully we'll be able to do more of it in the future. All right. Well, here we got one more caller in addition to our Justin Robert hey. Young motivational poster. Okay. Exactly on order. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on? We're talk uh, since we're talking about paranormal things, um, about I was about probably I was really little. I'm in an old house and uh basically the the house was set up like my room was right at the top of the stairs and my parents' room was like right at the bottom to the left. And so the light was on because, so, you know, I was little scared of the dark and my dad and my mom are in their room but like 15 minutes later once my parents go to bed we hear this strange stomping and to this day we don't know what the hell it was now uh it was rent the musical <laughs> <laughs> it uh, I, was, I was I was gonna go ahead with Stomp. Yeah, it was uh, it was the Broadway. Go. It was the cast of the Broadway Smash. Well, no, stomp. it was like some like really massive person was like stomping as hard as they could down the hall because there was a hall parallel to the stairs. Now there's a lot. So. Of, uh, okay, <laughs> my I love this. My house creaks. Don't be a bitch from the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference between NSFW. We would never say that on the Weird Things podcast. No, I mean, that's weird. Well, I mean, no, like, hey, listen, it's the chat room saying it, not us. They're passing judgment. Uh, know. You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I guess the, the biggest thing there is is you want to, what, what's terrifying is the weight, right? I mean, if that, if that thump has enough base and you think it's like an elephant foot, well, you're it's definitely. Funny, it's, it's like in your brain, when you hear a noise, it's like you, at the before the noise hits, it could be anything. But the moment what? the noise hits, it's like you got X's through a whole bunch of different things and all that's guys, left is guys, giant guys, objects. Guys, guys, the chat room yeah, figured this out. Me, um, that was some, funny thing. Chat here's rooms. the thing. Here's the thing. Sometimes mommy and daddy like to wrestle. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be but, great if the car... daddy's got special moves that are only for mom? Oh, that was about it. <laughs> All right, awesome, dude. I think we just, uh, I think we just had like a. a, a... It's closed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a million hits, guaranteed. By the way, Brian, you didn't ask about my guaranteed. shirt. Wait, I, I didn't ask about your what? Shirt. Oh, because I can't see your shirt, but it looks oh. like it's got some kind of samurai on it. You recognize this guy? Uh, that looks like... I can't recognize the logo, you think? Oh my goodness, it's a Magru Banzai! He also has the initials BB. You know what I ought to do? Is I ought to like pay homage to Buckaroo Banzai and like, you know, put little hints to his BB logo with the back-to-back -back BB. That'd be a great idea. I, I, you know, when I was talking to Buck, uh, he noticed that you were using the logo, and he's I, a very laid-back guy. He'd never say anything about that. So I, I, I don't just, know what you're... I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm sorry, Justin. I accidentally clicked on you. At that I, I like that subliminal <laughs> shot we got of Justin drinking beer. It was just great. Drink Duff! <laughs> All right, look, uh, let's... Oh, speaking of Drake Duff, one more word from... Because we're going to get our asses sued. Well, no, it doesn't make any sense because first it's going to be a release for the guests, and then it's going to be a release for the callers, and then it's going to be a release for everybody in the chat room. It doesn't even make sense. I don't want to hear any more of your <laughs> Justin. It's every week. It's the same goddamn thing. We need releases. So wait, so all the other Twitch shows have to do releases. You know what? You're, you're not running all the other shows. We got real problems with your show. I mean, it's the type of content we're not used to, all right? <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm uncomfortable with playing anymore. I'm afraid it's going like down a dark hole. Uh, by the way, for, it occurs to me a bunch of people are not watching it live, and you're going to be pissed off at me, Justin. But it's like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell them. I gotta tell them. Tell them what? Tell them about Dane. Danger Dane Golden. It's the way he does business. What's to tell him? Oh, okay. Well, then I won't tell them. Yeah, the Danger Dane Golden. Just every time he comes in the room in the chat room, I want everyone to shout Danger Dane Golden. That's what I wanted you to say. We're all scared of him. Uh, the, oh, let's 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 vanquish Hitler's spirit. Let's vanquish Spil 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 the last one. It's, Spitler's it's, it's, spirit. It's... Spitler's spirit. It's gonna get vanquished, everybody. <laughs> Spitler's uh, hear it. Old Spitler's spirit. Oh, your reign has gone on long Spitler. enough. <laughs>
Yeah, that's what people in the front row called him, Spittler. Ah, when yeah. he's all freaking he's a great out speaker, and screaming. Like, yeah, but geez, you know, make the guy like, you know, not drink so many beverages. Yeah, yeah you just take one SS officer to the other one, more like Spittler, right? <laughs> and they're arrested Am I right? and taken away. Am I right? <laughs> okay, listen, uh, you want to read this or should I, Justin? Uh, I, I'll read it. Go ahead and give me a, give me a character. And uh, just to remind everybody of the stakes, uh, if Andrew gets this right, the undead spirit of Hitler, which lingers in uh, regular dice around the world, will be vanquished back to the realm from which it came. If he does not beat him, then it remains on this earth. But, however, as a consolation prize, uh, you know, Andrew does win a game on a show on the Internet. So he's got well, that going for us. No matter what, that happens. So I guess no matter what, we should, uh, we should play him. Uh, so no matter what, you get that, Andrew. That Congratulations, is that is Andrew. Thing. We hope that's a consolation to you. So the question is, will it? Okay, all right. And by the way, I'm already, Hitler doesn't speak to me directly, but I'm pretty sure that if he stays alive, that's a win in his book is all I'm going to say. All right, Andrew Maine, in the voice, Mr. Justin Robert Young. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> of a, of, of Santa Claus annoyed that he's at a function he doesn't think he belongs at. I love Mad Libs. I want <laughs> you to read this review. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Sorry, but this is mostly a steaming pile. An inappropriate metaphor considering its constant blank topics. Neither particularly blank or blank. Maybe I'm just too old for this kind of content. Don't waste your time with this show. If you want to be entertained, but have some brain cells you'd like to keep. All right, Andrew Maine, Hitler's ghost infused in dice. Is this about <laughs> WTF with Mark Marone? Flight of the Concords on HBO. Or this week in fun, Twiff. Andrew. What do you got? Talk, him, talk it through. Yeah, keep in mind, to most people, it's an audio podcast. Ron, are these not home movies you're familiar with? What are you, what are you showing me? Is this Kyle Hitler who you want to win? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. This whole time we've been here, we think you're thinking and you're sitting there conjuring oh, no. up Hitler movies I don't on know. your Flight iPad. Of the Concords, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on. You're going with Flight of the Concords? Is that really sure, it? Sure, why not? This is to vanquish the spirit of Hitler, man. You got to make it for reals. He's going to go to hell if you win. Come on. Everybody likes a sequel, Brian. Come ahead. I got, I can be compassionate. He's playing with house money. Oh, my yeah. God. That's what the house loves here. All right, fine. You're with Flight of the Concords. Hitler? Who has not won once? What do you guys and, and, and if he loses this one, it's over. It's curtains for you, Hitler. Well, he actually he actually picked Flight of the Concords as well, so I'm gonna go again. This he says it's WTF with Mark Maron. Mark Mark Marin. Mark Marin WTF is what Hitler's goes through these dice says, and the answer is <gasps> Oh son Whoa! of the above! Oh, denied Hitler. What does that mean? I mean, do we have to move around? I win. Move around on one final one? Uh, I don't have to spell this out for you. Hitler, no. zero points. Andrew, points. Okay. Done. <laughs> All right, well, guess what, dude? Hitler uh, Hitler does not go to hell, and it's all because of Andrew Maine. So whoa, whoa, I whoa, say, whoa, whoa, whoa. from his Hitler perspective... Died. You, you, you just lost. But the Hitler's dice didn't dice. win, Brian. It, it didn't win, Brian. Number one, it would have been way smarter for you to, to make a you just tied Hitler's dice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say. It would be you equals Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> guess, guess what? You, 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 you are the equivalent. Of Hitler's dice. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure to do it. You, 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 you are Hitler. 
Kind of. All right, guys, let's wrap things up here. What do we want to say? We got the plugs. We got to make some, make some stuff happen. What do you got, Justin? What do you want to plug, sir? Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Of course, weirdthings.com, uh, itrick.com, which, by the way, as was acknowledged by uh, Norm Clark, a veteran Las Vegas reporter at the Las Vegas Review Journal, itrick scooped the world with the Lance Burton leaving the Monte Carlo news. So if you want the latest Magic news. Go to itricks.com. I didn't know anything about that. Andrew Maine. What? Uh, what do you? What do you want to plug, sir? Uh, AndrewMaine.com. Sure. Why not? All right. Good. By the way, uh, uh, Brian Brushwood. I'm at Schwood on the Twitter. At Schwood. Yeah. That'd be at Andrew Maine. You meant to say at Andrew Maine. At yeah. Or on at Justin R Young. Uh, at Hitler. Why did you say that? Hey? Who do at Hitler? I love you. See you next Tuesday.